Take it away, Pastor Flo. Praise the Lord. Good evening and welcome. Uh, thank you for coming in this evening and joining us with a word from the Lord from Gifts to the Body with myself, Lady Flo Duggar, and my fabulous, beautiful, anointed, gifted, I can't praise her, thank God for her enough, Evangelist Deborah Wright. Amen. We just thank God for this opportunity. We thank God for this, for your audience. We thank God for this technology to encourage and to share our gifts. Amen. That the Lord have given us. Amen. With you on this evening. Um, we just want to start with a word of prayer. Evangelist, will you pray, please? Sure. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to come before your presence and come before your people. Lord, give us a word of encouragement for your people in these yes. days and times, Lord. Even allow us to share and to laugh and to enjoy this show together, Lord. We know that you have a right now word for us, Lord. Open our ears and our hearts to receive it, Lord. Lord, we thank you for what you have done and what you're continuing to do in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 We want to, I'm trying to start a watch party. It's not <laughs> working. But we want to encourage you, you know, uh, prayerfully I was asking the Lord um, what would he have for us to share on this evening and the Lord um, spoke to me that his people, we need to be encouraged. Yes. Amen. You know, it's so much going on, evangelists, and not going on, still going on. Still going on. You know, on. even though the um, presidential election is over, that was totally... Over. <laughs> Not according to some people, it oh, ain't yeah, over. It's over. Okay, it's a wrap. You are okay. okay. Whatever. Okay. But that part of voting is over. It's okay. Horrible. Yes, yeah. that part. Okay. And, and um, you know, that was toiling on top of the COVID yes. and on top of uh, you know, ministry and, yes. and you know, the doors that shut and and the uh, still um, insurmountable amounts of still COVID deaths and all and of it's that. it's rising again. Yes, say. rising again, yes. So, you know, with all that going on, um, you know, we need to be encouraged. Yes, Amen. Yes. And I just thank God, you know, that it's a song that says sometimes we have to encourage ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I received this message today i had went to the park just to be alone with the lord mm -hmm. and um you know odd as it was when it was 70 something yesterday I and monday i was <laughs> resting i couldn't believe it but i had my bedroom door cracked and you know was uh -huh. able to feel the breeze and you know, people were like, oh, it's so nice outside, it's so nice outside, but my body needed rest, so yes. I rested. So today I went to the park, and as I was up at the park, uh, you know, I heard the Lord say that the race, because I have some arms in the fire personally. Yeah. I have some goals, I have some objectives, I have some things that I still need to get done. Yes. Amen. And I thank God for purpose. Yes. I thank God for goals. You know, you have your short range, your long range. I mean, my book is like, will I ever get this book get done? <laughs> it is so hard. You know, my publisher called me and she like, okay, I got the first part, you know, and I thank you, Evangelist, for your help. And my husband, he tells me things, hello, Apostle, and as he tells me things to add on, and I got, I got this many notes, you know, and um, so I... Um, got that that I keep setting dates. I'm going to have it done by the end of September. I'm going to have it done by the end of August. I'm going to have it done by yeah. the end of October, by the end of November. Uh -huh. And it's still sitting there intimidating, you know. 
And um, you're going to have it done when the story is finished. Amen. You know, sometimes I tell my authors that, you know, you're living this book out. It's not like you're just making stuff out of your head. You're actually living those chapters out. Right. And sometimes when we can't finish a chapter, it's because we haven't finished it in real life. We haven't finished living that out, so we don't even know what the end of that chapter is. Amen. So there is no exact time you have to be complete. When it's done, it's done. Amen. You know. Amen. And you can always write another one. Yes. So you don't have to include everything into the one. But when when all of the elements are there that's going to bless the public, then you can say you're, you're done with it. Amen. Because it's not just to write a book to chalk up another checklist, but it's to bless somebody with your story. Amen. And so when it gets to that point, it'll be done. Amen. And there you heard it from... <laughs> The publisher and the author herself <laughs> of how many books? Six and three in the making. <laughs> Six and three in the making and have blessed so many people, have yeah. helped others to publish their books. Amen. Yeah. So, you know, you heard it from her and I receive it. <laughs> Amen. Mm-hmm. That was encouraging that yeah. when it's done, it's done. Amen. Right. And, um, you know, along with other things that I have going on, but mainly this book was just like, I've got to get this book done. And, um, you know, I I talked to the Lord. I repented for procrastinating, you know, because the Bible tells us to occupy, do business until he come. So I have to personally balance myself between am I being slothful, lazy, or do my body need this rest? You know, because I'm a go-getter. I'm an achiever. You know, I like to be moving and shaking. I like to see things happen. I like to make things happen. And And you are doing that. It's not like you're sitting around twiddling your thumbs. Yes, yes. Okay, you you got the TV show. You got your business. Of course, you got your husband. You got your family. You got your church. I mean, you can't add too much more to that. But with me, sometimes when things get too quiet or too still, I'm like, oh, I should be doing something, you know. Oh, so we're conditioned you know, sometimes to do that. I have to, yeah, I have to talk to myself and flow. You get this rest. Your body. What did, what did this Jesus rest. do? He even got in the boat and went to the other side. Yes, so he, he did. had to do that. Yes, and he then went, we need to do that. And he went to sleep apparently. Okay. And there, there, there were still blind people. There were still bleeding people. They were still yes. there, but he went on the other side because we're built. We're humans, and our body requires a certain amount of rest, a certain amount of peace. Especially if you're creating with your mind and with your heart or with your brain, you need that downtime. Yes. So God can download what He wants. Yes. See, sometimes we want to write a book of what we want, but He wants specific things in there too. Yes. Amen. And so I I applaud you for all that you're able to do. Amen. And keep it together and still look like a queen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, you know, I thank God for you. I thank God for the Holy Spirit that helps me, you know, because the book of Hebrews talks about entering into God's rest. Yes. And, you know, I'm 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 entering into his rest. Amen. Thirty years of being married, yes. I'm still learning to enter into God's rest into my marriage. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Mm -hmm. Those little petty, trivial things, learning not to stumble over them, learning to be grateful, you know, for what Apostle and I have accomplished um, emotionally, physically, you know, financially, socially, um, uh, spiritually in every area. You know what I'm saying? So... And this is such a trying year yes, for it is. everyone. Yes, it is. You know, and so it, it's things that we never expected we would endure or go through. And nobody knows how to handle it except for trust God, yes, which is a wonderful yes. thing. But we trust God. But I like what you were talking about, enduring to the end. Yes, yes. And... um I don't know if I shared that on the broadcast. I shared it with you before how 
uh, the Lord spoke to me. I went up to the park just for some private time with the Lord, quality time. And I heard the Lord say that the race is not given to the uh, swift mm -hmm. or the battle to the strong, uh -huh. but to them that endure to the end. And that just immediately blessed me, encouraged me, yes. comfort me, because that's what um, give to the body. That's I love that. That's the main thing yes. for me. Uh, that's one of my favorite scriptures, um, 1 Corinthians, the Father, mercy, mm -hmm. the God of all comfort, that comfort and encourage us in yeah. our trials and in our tribulation that we may be able to comfort and encourage those that are in any trouble. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm anointed. That's one of my gifts to yeah. encourage people because I have been encouraged, yes. you know, and I've learned how... You know, even in trouble, in tribulation, in trials, that God is present. He is a yes. very present help. He is right there. He don't jump off the boat. He don't, you know, leave mm -hmm. you. He is right there. Right Amen. There. And I'm just really, you know, uh, just really grateful. So mm -hmm. that that ministered to me, you know, while I was at the park, I parked up. Uh, up under a tree so I was focusing on the tree because it was people you know doing the grass and maintenance yeah. and there was a lot going on going where on. I had parked at it's a small park so you know you have to park somewhere and mm -hmm. so while I, I focused on this tree and it reminded me how Jesus said he was the vine and we are the branches. branches. So I said, well, let me just focus on the tree. And then I saw the leaves moving and, you know, you know, I got spiritual. Like, okay, <laughs> God, I, I, I'm feeling you now, whatever, you know. But it's, it's funny, but it's true. While I was sitting there, evangelist, it was a lady of age, um, looked like older than me, you know, and she was doing her exercise uh -huh. and she was just walking around, walking around. I mean, she must have walked around at least six times. It's a circle. Yeah. And at first I was like, oh, why is she walking around? She distracting me, you know, <laughs> but deep down inside I was jealous. Like, you know, I should be out there walking with her. You know what I'm saying? She walking and praying. You Walk and and praying. Praying. <laughs> yes, and if it had been a little more nice outside, I, I probably would, you know. Uh, you know, um, so I was going to say how you sometimes people be like when you walking and praying and then get to snotting and crying and, you know, you, they're like, well, what's going on? Yeah. But um, in order to take my focus off of her, I put my seat back. And, you know, the Bible says that bodily exercise profit little, you know. So I was saying that that's good that she is getting her exercise. But the Bible say spiritual, we need the yeah. spiritual exercise too, you know. So I took, you know, and it just reminded me that we we didn't talk about it but you know we're going to talk tonight about running a race because the bible says we talked about the races and given to the swift how fast you run or how strong you are mm -hmm. and that's what this lady was doing she was you know doing her exercise strengthening her muscles whatever yeah. whatever you know but i was in the car building up my spirit man right, amen because right. you need both amen mm -hmm. but uh you know i said you know she might because she's doing physical exercise she might live longer you know <laughs> what i'm saying but um i um you know was getting distracted and i was just in the car thinking about how distractions <laughs> you know, stop us from running the race because we are in a race. Amen. Yeah. And the Bible says that um, we were just saying how the race isn't given to the swift. 
It's not how fast you run or how strong you are. Amen. But that we endure to the end. And then I was looking at Ecclesiastics and it was saying the same thing. The writer of Ecclesiastics said he saw again under the sun that the race is not given to the swift. So that just let me know and confirm that there's nothing new under the nothing sun. New. Amen. This race that we're running, you know, the the goals, the books, other people have done it too, and other people have won the race, and other people mm -hmm. have endured, and other people have gotten the prize, so it's obtainable. It's obtainable. It's obtainable. Amen. But it's not in how swift you get it done. Right, right. Just get it done. Right. Because mm -hmm. the Bible says that since we are compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses, that we could run this race with patience. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so, um, you know, we just want to encourage you on yes. this evening. Amen. To run this race. Amen. Uh, uh, Paul said, forgetting the things that are behind and right. reaching forth to what's ahead. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said, I press for the mark of the prize of the high, high calling, calling of God in Christ Jesus. It's a higher calling. Mm -hmm. Amen. Than where we are right now. Amen. You know, uh, it's, it's a saying that we're somewhere in the future and we look much better than we do yeah. right now because it might look um, hopeless right now. You know, Apostle and I um, started the ministry back up and, you know, just I was on the phone with a lady who was talking about she had cancer and mm -hmm. some things, people are in trouble. People yeah. are in hopeless situations. You know, I thank God that I was able to go to the park and worship God yes. and praise God and get his attention. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, um, do some repentance. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because the Bible says that, you know, to lay aside the weights and the sins. You know, so when you, you run in a race, up. you can't have on heavy coats and hats mm. and gloves and boots. You yeah. know, you have to run light. Light. Amen. Light. Throw some of that stuff off. Amen. You know. Like Pam always teased about a meat coat in the summertime. You got to get rid of them combat boots and yes, meat yes. coats and run. Yes, and it's that way in the spiritual too. You Those burdens and worries and, you know, that was part of my uh, conversation with the Lord. And I just thank God that I'm, um, I'm seeing God, you know, He's more than just God. He's more than just sovereign. He's yes. more than just healer. He's personal and he's intimate. He's a friend. And you know he what likes I'm saying? that quiet time with the yes, that down yes, time with yes, us. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I don't go. To, I used to go to the park, but a lot of times I go. I go to the store, and even between going from store to store, I just sit in the car 30, 40 minutes. Oh, for sure. And just listen to my music and yes. just listen to what he's telling me and pray and pray for people that I see passing by. But this whole COVID situation has gotten a lot of people frantic, mm -hmm. frantic. And when you get frantic, you make mistakes and you miss out on things. But we need to be cognizant of taking that downtime and that quiet time. Yes. Like you took a nap all day. You needed that. Yes. Yes. You needed that because mm -hmm. when we get so wrapped up into the cares of the world, then we're not hearing clearly what he's trying to tell us. Amen. We're worried about the elections and the vaccines and the death tolls going up. When he said that if we keep our mind on him, he, he would keep us in perfect peace. Amen. Amen. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's good. That's good, evangelist. Amen. So... And it is important. Uh, I think it was an old hymn that says, Still away with God. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Uh, times I get up out the bed. I did that last night just trying to 
find that private, intimate place with the Lord. You know, sometime I'll lay there in the bed and pray, mm-hmm. but fall asleep is so important. Um, you know, that we establish a relationship with the Lord yes. because there are so many voices and, you know, on Facebook, you got so many people ministering and now it's something going on, you know, where people prophesy falsely and yes. fake prophets and all that. And, you know, the church is more divided because the um, election brought out a lot of, um, you know, racism or whatever, division. But, you know, the Bible says that the wheat and the tare have to grow together. Everybody on Facebook uh, or in church even, in the body of Christ is Mm -hmm. not saved. Not saved. Amen. And the Bible says, Jesus said, let the wheat and the tare grow together. So we have to, as the Bible say, take heed what you hear. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to be very selective you know, what we hear. Mm -hmm. I was reading what Jesus told the disciples to beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And they thought he was talking about natural bread, but he was talking about their teaching. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we have to be very careful, you know, who we uh, listen to, you know, for our spiritual growth and Um, you know, the prophetic words that we get and what team we jump on and what circle and what group and what organization and whose prayer group and all that, you know, God had to teach me that to stop letting people just pull you in things that where you out. Yeah. Where you out that seem, you you know, it could be, it could be a good work that they're doing, but it's not a good work for you. You, that's you not know. necessarily your part yeah, of the it's body. not you your assignment. It. And that's mm-hmm. what, you know, obtaining the prize and the goal is about what are you doing what God told you to do. Right. Amen. Right. And that's the endeavor of give to the body to help you find your purpose and what God told you to do to tell your story. Mm-hmm. Amen. To get connected to who God will have you to be connected to because you need to be connected Connected. because we are, you know, a body of Christ and we're fitly joined and God has placed us in the body as it please him. You know, you like to talk about apostles, um, diaphragm, you know, the human anatomy Uh body, and how, you know, it's many, many, many Bible parts. says there's many administrations, uh, many offices, many gifts, yeah. you know, uh, many callings, amen. And uh, you have to know your calling, amen. And the Bible say you see your calling, see what your calling what is, it, yeah. amen. And we've learned that everyone is not called an apostle. The Bible say, do all prophesy or all apostles, you know, um, everybody is not called because if everybody looked the same, the Bible say if the body was just a head, just a head, it couldn't function at all. Okay. Where's yeah. the hands? Where's the yeah. feet? Where's the heart? Where is, you know, but God is all wise and all yes, knowing. Is. God knows what he is doing. As you said, evangelist, it's about trusting him. Yeah. Amen. You know, even when it seems like nothing is happening, right. when it seems like other people are running faster and doing more and have more and, you know, well, I got this prophetic word and it hasn't come to pass yet and, you know, now I'm frustrated and, you know, God is the a God of peace. He's peace. Jehovah Shalom. Yes. He's not the author of confusion. So mm-hmm. that's why we're saying today, you know, it's so important to, you know, um, seek God. Yes, for, for yourself. For yourself. Because I thought it was really strange that all of the so-called true prophets stopped prophesying for 
edification of the body and encouragement and start a prophesying on the election. Yeah. You know, where, yes. where the other prophecy at? You know, yes. it's, it's more than prophesying. Who? That's to me more like the soothsayers and the, the gambling yes. people predicting the races. You know, I, I'm, I'm sure God, is, I know God is more concerned about our salvation and Definitely. building us up as the body of Christ, not so much as about who's going to win an election, but right. all the major prophets focus yeah. on the election. Right. You know, and some are right and some are wrong. Right, because people want to be relevant. They want to be known. They want to be famous. They want to be, but God says to humble ourselves. Right. That's the greatest thing, and that's what I've always asked God, that I want to be humble. Keep me humble. Yeah. And the Bible says to humble ourselves under his mighty his hand, mind. that he'll exalt us. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your prophetic word came to pass. Stay humble. The yeah. person you voted for, you wanted to win, one, stay humble. Humility. You know what I'm saying? And... Um, that's why you have to be careful. Right. Okay? You right. have to be careful with titles and right. offices. And you have to be careful when you say, Thus saith Thus the, Lord. the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh -huh. And and I feel bad even for the prophets whose their word don't come to pass because then I know personally you struggle with condemnation. You struggle with guilt and you struggle with shame and the people do you like they did Jesus Christ. When you get your prophecy right, it's like hallelujah, hosanna. And then when you get it wrong, it's like crucify them, crucify them. But, They're but, witch. But come they... on, that was a 50-50. They had a 50% <laughs> chance to get it right. Okay, I don't even count that. I mean, prophesy something straight from God. Anybody, yeah. the, the drunk could have picked a 50-50 chance of who's going to win and who's going to lose. Right. But I think people are getting so involved into the politics of this world that we're not looking at the souls out there dying. Right. Don't matter who is the president is souls right. out there dying souls frustrated because they can't get in their church homes right. people feeling lonely people feeling abandoned right. pastors committing suicide it's a lot more that's important the election but it's a lot more things that the Christians should be focusing on because the enemy is using COVID and the election to, to lull us straight to hell if you let them. Amen. Because people getting blood mad about who won, who didn't won. People getting blood mad about all kinds of things. And it's only taking our focus off the fact that these are the last days. Amen. And you better start getting prepared and stay prepared. Whether Trump or whoever win or whatever. Amen. You know, God could take them both out if he chose to. And then you got to find somebody else. We got to focus on Jesus Christ. We got to focus on that these, we're seeing the signs and the things happening in the earth. Mm -hmm. We got to focus on, we getting up out of here. Amen. And we got to know that we know that we know that we right with God. That's it. Amen. Amen. That's a word right there. Amen. You know? And it's the truth. Because I've seen some, some Christians just get ugly mm -hmm. about the election. It's more important things. It really is. Yes. Yes. And, and it's your soul and your children going out the world backwards and grandkids going out the world backwards. And, and we're just accepting anything, anything goes. We're not crying loud and sparing out. We're just rolling with the flow. <laughs> but as evangelists and ministers, he said to cry loud and spare not. Amen. To tell the people, if you fall, if somebody falling off this ditch and you just watching them, that ain't godly. Amen. 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 We got to tell them about the Lord. And then even like what you did, the peace that you got going to the park. Yes. It didn't cost you a dime. No, it didn't. Amen. And he said he would keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on the Lord. Amen. So we got to find a way to, to get that peace for each of each of us, you know. Some people, the world finds peace in liquor and weed and people and all that kind of Amen. stuff. But we find peace just drawing nearer to him. Amen. 
Because the Bible says that, you know, if we be risen with Christ, that we're to set our affections on things yeah. above and not things beneath. Because yeah. we're in the world, but we're not of the world. Right. Amen. God is our source. Amen. And as long as we obey and trust him, mm -hmm. a lot that the world offers don't apply to us because right. we're kingdom. We're the kingdom of yeah. God. Amen. Pilgrims passing through. Yes, yes. So and, and yeah, we do the, the normal things of vote and care about who wins yes. or whatever, but, but that's not your main focus. Our focus your should main be on. focus. Amen. You know. And, and that's our prayer. Amen. You know, I seen that was your passion, amen. Mm -hmm. You, you know, was concerned about that. So we believe in God, as we said, you know, now that hopefully that part is over, we can repent and get refocused. We just got out the doghouse, as it were, <laughs> amen. You know, uh -huh. if my people would humble themselves and oh, pray wow. and repent and turn from their wicked ways. We just got off punishment, okay? And then <laughs> here, come, here comes the election. Lord and now mercy. we back on punishment, okay? Wow. Now we back, you know, repenting for yes. broken uh, covenants and relationships yes. and, you know... But God is so merciful. Hallelujah. He is so merciful. And, you know, his appeal and his heart, you know, God is not like man. No. Amen. So he didn't come to condemn us. Amen. This, he came to restore us. Restore God us. is a God of restoration. Amen. God wants to restore us. Amen. To get back focus. Amen. Right. And to get back in the race. Amen. Yes. You know, Paul said in Galatians, who have bewitched you? Amen. Mm -hmm. Who have cast a spell on you to not obey the truth, to not walk mm -hmm. in your calling and not, as you said, you know, people, those who are we're all given the ministry of reconciliation, yes. but you know, we can ask when is the last time you led someone to Christ yeah. or let someone know that God loved them, you yes. know, because the enemy is very subtle. Yes, Amen. He is. he is very, very subtle. And you know, that's, he, the Bible says that his time is short, so he have come down in great wrath, and that's his um, assignment to get right. our focus off the things of God. Right. Amen. And you know, he started at the top with the yeah. apostles and the prophets, you know, like we were saying with the uh, false prophets and the true <laughs> prophets and you know the, all of that you know uh -huh. so we just believe in God that God will restore us all and that you know people would get back focus and you know pray for both presidents yeah. and pray for the Bible say the government is upon his shoulders. Yeah. God, he said he sat down one and put up another one. He said, there's no power to be that's ordained of him, you know, and that's what we're often guilty of evangelists is yeah. taking care of God business. Okay. Yeah. And telling God how what to, to take care of his business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I've seen people talk to God like God didn't know what he was doing. Like they were giving him some information. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Or, or try to chastise uh, okay. God. Okay, so and do? God, did you see? He sees everything. Everything. And the Bible says our God is in the heaven. He have done whatsoever he please. Amen. Yeah. God knows what he's doing. We have to, he's not coming down. We have to come up, up. you know, in our spiritual life. We have to come up. We, the Bible said, we be risen with him. We got to rise up. Amen. And we have to draw in closer to closer, him. Closer, Amen. Yeah. Draw in closer to him. And, um, 
And, it, it, and that's such a special treat. I remember I would just, I don't know, I think I was in the car or somewhere, just worshiping and praising God. And one part of my mind said, if I could be anywhere in the world, Paris, Hawaii, with all the money in the world, I'd rather be right there where I was, mm -hmm. in the presence of God. Yes, There's yes. no greater place that we could be than in the presence with him. Yes. You know, the natural things, the, the sunshine, the beautiful places that that our, our earthly minds want to be. But when you're in that close place with him, mm -hmm. you know, it's just nothing like, and it's free. It doesn't cost a dime. Amen. 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 That's so true. There's nothing like being in the presence of God. Nothing mm -hmm. like it. But the Bible says you did run well. Amen. And God want us to run well. Right. Amen. He want us to get back on right. the straight and the narrow. Amen. Seeking his face like never before because there's still a lot of work to be done right. in the kingdom. Amen. People are, you know how they're giving the number of people that are dying from the COVID. Yes, are Lord. these people saved? Healthy people, too. Yeah, yeah. And most of all, are they saved? Yes. Amen. I hear them talking about how many body bags, bodies are in these funeral homes Ooh. that they don't even have room um, to have proper burial and all of this that's going on. It's praying time. You know, one of the gifts to the body is the gift of intercession. Yes. Amen. And, you know, intercessors have, you know, I know you're an intercessor. I'm an intercessor. You know, we have weight in the kingdom. Amen. We're not like the seven sons of Sceva. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know Amen. what I'm saying? When I when we tell the devil, go flee, stop. Amen. It's over. It's over. Amen. Amen. And that comes from exercising, spiritually yes. exercising our prayer life. Amen. Yes. Learning how to pray and learning God and his ways. Amen. And you know, having fellowship and communion with yes. him. Amen. And it hasn't been for nothing. Amen. The Bible says, let us not grow weary in well doing. Well doing. Don't grow weary in doing what's right. Amen. Because yes. the Bible says that we will reap if we don't faint. Amen. This is mm -hmm. not the time to faint. Amen. This is not the time to throw in the towel, to quit. Amen. God does know your name. Yes. Amen. And God knows why he created you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God has is able, like um, the shepherd in the 23rd Psalm, amen, is the illustration of Jesus Christ being the shepherd, and we are his, his sheep. sheep. We are the sheep of his pasture. If we have gotten off the path, amen, yeah. through whatever, adultery, fornication, um, it doesn't matter. You yeah. know, there's no big sin and little sin. No, no. Amen. It doesn't matter where you got stuck, where you got stopped, hate, bitterness, resentment. Come on, back home. You know, those little foxes um spore the vine. Amen. You might have, mm -hmm. you know, went back to alcoholism, popping pills, whatever, being overwhelmed. Amen. Yes. And you know, seemed like everybody, because that's what the devil will tell you, everybody fornicating, everybody, yeah. you know, lying, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why we, you know, we thank God for godly examples, because everybody is not fornicating. No, no. There are some people that are single, and they satisfy being single. Yeah. And God said he got told, what he told the prophet, he said, I got <laughs> how many thousands, thousands that haven't bowed the knee to Baal. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. God got some good people. Yes. And, you know, I humbly 
say I'm one, amen, yes. that, um, you know, my heart is sincere yes. concerning the things of God. I like to have fun, amen. Yeah. You know, I got a little bit of comedian in me from <laughs> laughing to keep from crying, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, I used to, you know, had That's to tell jokes. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, a good very medicine. hard, doing good, good like a medicine, uh -huh. so I ain't, you know, uh -huh. I ain't walking around looking at acting like I eat lemons, amen, uh -huh. hallelujah, glory to God, but it doesn't matter, you know, where you find yourself at, that God is there, he said he is married to the backslider, yes. amen, and you know, I've been there where it seemed like I couldn't find God, wow. amen, like, you know, where Ooh. are you? You know, I'm in my word, I'm praying, or either I don't feel like being in my word and I don't feel the like praying. praying. I'm stuck. I'm between stuck. a rock and a hard place. Amen. Mm -hmm. But God uh, know how to come and get you. Yes, Amen. He does. Yes, he will. Song said if he had to reach way down, somebody say you haven't went too far. It's not yes. too late. As long as there's breath in your body, yes. it is not too late. It is not, not too, too late. late for you to be restored back to God. The, the, the book, uh, the prophet said the potter wants to put you back together, together again. again. Amen. God has got yes. need of you. God loves you. Yes, Amen. The Bible say he left the 99 and went after the one. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. You Hallelujah. are a precious gem. Amen. Yes. And God loves you. Amen. You haven't went too far. It's not too late. No. Amen. God can take a uh, song said nobody and make them somebody. Yes. I'm a witness today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, so God awesome. is worthy of his praise. You mm -hmm. know, we have to offer up the sacrifices it's of thanksgiving so awesome. and praise. You're not going to feel like giving them praise all the time. Amen. Because... You know, we do have an adversary evangelist, yes. and he will get in your ear. He will throw up smoke screens. Amen. Yes. He will tell you there's more against you than with you. Amen. Yes. Yes, you will. know, you, you uh, uh, sometime I'm like Peter. Amen. Long as I'm walking with the Lord, I'm good. But good. if I start looking down, if I start looking at you know, um, this in my life, that's not Ooh, right, or hallelujah. that's not mm. right, or, you Thank know, you, Jesus. amen, then I fall, yes. amen, yes. but yes. the Bible say he is able to able. keep us from falling, the Bible hallelujah. say a righteous man falls seven times yes. and get back get up back again, up. Mm. God, God loves it, Yes. When we get back up again, yes. God loves it when we dust ourselves off, yes. Amen, and get back in the race, yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. Dust your, you know, I remember when I was addicted to abuse. I wanted God to beat me when I did oh. wrong, when I fornicated, or you know, when I lied or whatever. Mm. I was used to the abuse, but God told me no. no. He said, "Dust yourself off yeah. and." Get back, back in the race. Amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. There's therefore now no condemnation. None. God didn't come. The Bible said his mercy rejoices against judgment. Yes. Amen. God mercy endure forever. His mercy is everlasting. Yes. His grace is sufficient. sufficient. Amen. For what you're going through. Amen. Return to God. Amen. Yes. The potter wants to put you back together again. The Bible said the word is nigh thee, even in your oh, mouth. Oh, no. If you'll confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you can be saved. Amen. You can be saved, healed, delivered, made whole, 
be restored back to your place in God. The Bible says if we confess our sins, amen, confess that sin, yes, that sir. he is faithful, he is just yes. to forgive you, forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Amen. Be yes. forgiven today. Yes. Be restored today. Yes. Amen. Amen. Get back in the race. Get back Run in. this race with patience. Yes. I looked up this word. Amen. Um, amen. I looked up the word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, oh, Lord. the word perseverance. Mm -hmm. And the word perseverance means persistence. Persistence. In doing something despite of difficulty or delay in achieving success. Mm. Be wow. persistent. Wow. Amen. Paul said, I press. That press is yes. not easy. No, it's press not. your way through. Walk that situation you, out. Amen. Endure. Hang in there. Thank Amen. You, Jesus. Have a talk with Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. You could, the Bible say, cast all your cares oh. on him because he cares, cares for, for you. you. God's not upset with you. God's not angry with mm -hmm. you. The Bible says, if God be for, for you, you, who can be against you? And the psalmist said, this I know, that God is for me. He is a friend yes. that sticketh closer than any brother. Yes, he is. Amen. Uh, uh, who was it? Abraham was a friend of God. Friend Amen. Of God. I'm a friend of God. Yes. Amen. Evangelist I'm Deborah a friend of is God. a friend of God. Yes. Amen. And this not no friend. Amen. That you can't trust. The Bible say he's a wonderful counselor. Yes. Amen. He now. will cover <laughs> you. Amen. You could tell him your secrets. Yes. Amen. You could cry. He said a broken heart and a contrite spirit. spirit. He will not despise. He said weeping may we endure, endure for, for the night. night, but joy, joy is coming. Joy, joy. It's coming. Joy. Amen. Mm. And we came to encourage you on tonight that the best Best is yet to come. Yes. Amen. Our coming here on this evening is not in vain. No, it's it's not. not for nothing. It's no. not just to have the TV cameras and the microphones and the bright lights. Amen. Yes. But it's as much as in us is. Amen. We have to preach this gospel. Woe to us. If we don't, don't preach do this it. gospel, we must be about our father business. The Bible says that after we have been converted mm. to strengthen, strengthen the brethren, amen, the sisters, yes, we want Lord. you to be encouraged, amen. No matter what you're going through in your marriage, no matter what you're going through in your relationship with your adult children, yes. your grandchildren, your mother, amen. Yes. Jesus said, I didn't come to send peace, but a sword. Huh. He said, I come to divide, amen. The relationship with the, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, amen. The mother against the daughter for you to make a choice, amen. He said, if you don't love me more than you more. love mother, father, sister, the brother, right. whoever. He said, you're not worthy not of them. Worthy. He didn't say don't love them. He said, but love them more. Love, love him, him more. more. Love him more. more. He's a jealous God. Mm. He said, thou shalt have no other gods beside him, before him. You know, we have gotten into idolatry. Ooh, Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We have brought our idol gods. We have brought Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We have brought our children, our grandchildren, Lord, our, our wives, our husbands as excuses. What did they tell Jesus? Uh, I, I can't I, go I can't with go you right, right now. now. I need to go back and bury my father. He said, let the dead bury the dead. Mm -hmm. I can't follow you, Jesus. I just bought some land and I need to. Mm -hmm. Amen. Wow. Amen. And what did he tell the rich young ruler? 
He says, sell everything that you have and come and follow follow me. me. We got to sell out. We made idols out of our homes and our cars and our jobs. Amen. Churches. Churches. Denominations. Churches. Our pastors. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Everything is coming down but the word of God. Yes. When we stand before God, he's not going to ask about nobody but nobody. the person in the mirror. That's, that's you. That's me. That's Amen. It. Amen. The Bible, what we say, lay aside those weights and those sins, those excuses, those crutches. My Lord. When they brought the person paralyzed to Jesus, he was paralyzed, and Jesus said, your sins be forgiven you. Yes. Amen. And they said, well, who got power to forgive sin? But his sin had paralyzed, paralyzed him. him. Amen. Your sins will paralyze you, Your those weights. Amen. Those worries, those cares of this life, this world. Amen. The cares of people, their opinions. Amen. Will paralyze you. Amen. Those voices, those mental illnesses and generational curses. Amen. As you run this race, those things will be broken off. As you draw yes. closer to God, amen. Um, you know, we'll start looking like him, evangelist. Ooh, yes, Lord. Amen. Because yes. whatever you worship is what you become. Yes. Amen. The yes. Bible say people worship money and they start looking like money. They become like money. Cold. Yes. Amen. Meaningless. I heard, I don't even want to go there. Uh, Because people were you choosing a candidate based on riches. The Bible say the rich people oppress you and draw you uh, uh, before the judgment seat. Amen. The Bible said that Jesus said don't hunger after, you know, natural bread, but the mm-hmm. word, of, the word God. of God, we live by every word that proceeds out the mouth of God. Mouth of God. It's God. time to get sold out like yes. never before. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because the Bible say, while we the lost focus and got distracted evangelists, the devil is coming back yes. from, you know, where he left and Full he finds it empty and swept and garnished and he come and brings seven bring more. Boys, he brings more <laughs> demons. Now you more messed up. Yes. Cause you done got, we done lost focus on the election and lost focus yes. on the Indians and the Browns. And we done lost focus on the things and cares of this world. Yes. Yes. Return back to God. God said, if you return back to him, he'll return back to you. Yes. Amen. He have never left. He have not went anywhere. Never. Hallelujah. Glory to Hallelujah. God. We love him on this evening. Yes, Lord. Amen. We worship him. Worship him in spirit and in truth. Yes, Lord. And the truth is, God, I've strayed. Amen. I've missed the mark. Amen. Amen. And I'm asking you to restore me back to my place in you. God will restore you. Amen. And he'll make it better than before. Ooh, hallelujah. 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 Yes. He'll, he said, I'll restore the years that the canker worm, the palm um, worm, the locust, and the caterpillar have devoured. God will give you the ground because we lose ground. Amen. When we get distracted, as I was watching that lady walking around, I was getting distracted on what I came there for. So I had to put my seat all the way back. Amen. Uh And when I put my seat back, my focus got back. Amen. So we have to remove ourselves from whatever it is that's distracting Distracting. us. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying leave your husband, leave your wife. Amen. But sometimes it's just as simple as that lady. She was minding her own business. Yeah, she was minding her business. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. But, But yet it was a distraction. But 
you took the steps to make the move to avoid the distraction, and that's what sometimes we don't do. Mm -hmm. We don't pull ourselves away from the distractions, and yes. then we get caught up into different things and lose. You know, you had a wonderful time with the Lord today. Yes. But you were the one that had to block the distractions. Yes. And, you know, it do cost you something, evangelist. Mm -hmm. Somebody, song said, nobody told me the road would be easy. Like, mm -hmm. I'll get up out the bed and go downstairs, but where we live, the walls is paper thin, and, you know, sometimes I don't have the liberty to worship. Yeah. You know, Apostle James got the mic way far away from me because... <laughs> I can get loud, amen. <laughs> I can get loud, amen, hallelujah. You know, I was loud for the devil, amen. I can get loud. I know my neighbors hear me. You know, I've had neighbors that move, and they'll see me, and they'll be like, ooh, I used to hear you over there worshiping and praising, oh. amen. And, and it's not to be heard, but just... But they needed it probably, too. <laughs> they needed it, and I got a big mouth. Hallelujah. Wow. Glory to God. But, you know, God is good, though. It, whatever it costs. Whatever it whatever costs. Whatever it costs. You have to press, press, press. Run this race. Get back in the race. Yes. Amen. Get the prize. Finish your course. Amen. As you read the Bible, Paul talks about all that he went through. My Amen. Lord. But he said, I finished my course. He is an example. The Bible said we're compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses. Because, you know, the witnesses is in the corridor of heaven. Yes. And they're saying, hey, you can, you do, can it. do it. You can, you can do it. it. You can make it. And Amen. We, Finish and we, go, we go through a lot, but I don't, not too many of us will be boiled in oil and beheaded upside, all kind of stuff like yes. that. You know, but we go through our share of stuff, but they're, like you said, they're encouraging us to run on. Yes. The old folks yes. used to see, I believe I'll run on to yes. see what the end going to be. Yes. And you know, then, we can't quit in the middle. Right. And then we have and, people older still alive. Yeah. Pa pa uh, matriarchs, yeah. you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. that have been preaching this gospel for years and years yes. and years. Uh, I was listening to Apostle Winnie Hamilton, and I know she's up in age, and I said, Lord, I want to still be preaching when I My get Lord. her age. Amen. Yes. Just preaching the unadulterated pa yes. uh, uh, Pastor Gwendolyn McCurry and, you know, others, amen, yes. that's of age that have been preaching this gospel for yes, years for and years and years, running this race, persistent, persevering, amen, pressing, yes. amen, through sickness, through death of loved ones, oh, amen, through famine, through nakedness, through homelessness, yes. amen. You are not alone, mm. amen. Tell your story, amen. Yes. Seek God while he may be found. There's so many people in the grave with unwritten books and, you know, they didn't finish their, fulfill their calling, their purpose, mm. amen. We prophesy and decree and declare that you will not be one of them. Yes. You will finish your course. Amen. You will, amen, return to God. Yes. Amen. You will receive all that God has for oh, you. Yeah. God bless you on this evening. We pray that you have been encouraged. Yes. We thank you for your prayers and for your support. Amen. We thank God that he continues to make a way for us to, amen, share this broadcast amen. even financially. If you want to sow as dollar sign gifts, capital G-I-F-T-S, the number two, body, B-O-D-Y, cash app. Amen. Yes. Amen. You're sowing on good ground. We yes. love you. God bless you. And thank you for listening. And please tag and share with your friends. Amen. You know, so that Amen. they can be blessed as well. Amen.